Yo, what's up, guys? This is Apex here. Welcome back to another video. Today, we'll be taking a look at new changes made in the latest versions of Citra Emulator. Let's start with the Citra Vulcan Edition. As you all know, that Citra has created a new port, which is known as Citra Vulcan. As you can see, it has a brand new UI. Along with that, you have improvements in gameplay experience, FPS, and much more, which I'll be covering in today's video. So let's just go ahead and click on OK. Click on Allow. Let's select the Citra Emu folder because I have stored my uh, 3DS game right there. And as you guys can see right here, this is the brand new Citra Vulcan edition with the entire white theme. It looks pretty clean, not gonna lie, and it has also improved quite a lot. So Citra Vulcan is basically experimental build of Citra where you get better performance at the cost of few texture issues and crashing issues. As the Citra Vulcan is not yet stable, it gets regular updates and once it's stable, it will surpass even Citra MMJ. For 3 d simulation on MediaTek Exynos screen processor, you will definitely get better gameplay experience in the Citra Vulcan edition. Let's click on settings and check out all the uh, general settings like disabling the enable speed percentage limit. Let's go to graphics and make sure graphics api is vulcan enable spir v shader generation asynchronous shader compilation internal resolution we can set it to 3x let's do that because this is oneplus 11 bro literally snapdragon 8 gen 2 processor on this android device 3d simulation should run at 4x resolution 60 fps also accurate shader multiplication i'll enable this option to get less uh, like graphical issues with the citra vulcan you can disable this option if you want better fps and yeah that's going to be the graphics settings audio i have enabled audio stretching which will disable uh, audio input is real device so let's just go ahead and click on pokemon x and check out the emulation speed etc all right first crash right here let's click on don't allow again press back to access menu so let's just go ahead and do that here we'll click on show fps so there is an option uh, which says open cheat so that is also present basically official citra is going to surpass citra mmj very soon Along with the latest Citra Vulcan build, I also want to take a look at the official Citra Androids new update later on in today's video. So be sure to watch the video till the end. Let's at least check out Citra Vulcan Edition's development. Like there are a lot of graphical issues which I can see already. So let me know in the comment section down below by testing this game for yourself. I'll disable uh, these options, set the internal resolution, disable linear filtering. Yeah, that's going to be it let's go back yeah the graphical issues are still not fixed so i think it's problem with my device uh, because uh, citra vulcan ran very well on my android tablet previously so let's switch to the official citra android's new version where there has been similar changes with the ui let's click on don't allow and click on ok along with that there is a new impressive change which lets you uh, directly emulate games from your sd card so if you have stored games on your sd card i don't think phones nowadays come with sd card slot but if your phone does have a slot you can directly emulate games stored in your sd card let's go to settings here you cannot change the graphic api it's default to opengl enable linear filtering by the way citra vulcan edition is really good on low end devices so i definitely recommend you guys test it out and let me know in the comment section down below so this shader catch has been enabled and there are only few settings in the official citra android and i have heard from few people that official citra android has finally surpassed citra mmj in terms of performance we'll find out if it's true or not uh speed percentage 200 percent okay audio stretching is disabled let's go back let's open pokemon x click on don't allow okay immediately you can see there are no graphical issues uh, with this build of citra emulator let's click on show fps uh, we have screen layouts too default screen layout is one last screen and you can change it to single screen like this so let's see how well does snapdragon 8 gen 2 handle 4x resolution 3ds emulation 41 fps 52 fps i think it should reach 60 fps quite soon but no it's not reaching which means that 3ds is still demanding guys 3ds simulation is still very demanding at 4x resolution yeah now it reached 60 fps i look like this probably not but anyways all right let's find out how stable is actually 3ds simulation now on official citra android along with the gameplay performance experience in 4x resolution this game is looking really good by the way not gonna lie uh, OnePlus 11 comes with 2K display so with that enhanced resolution uh, while emulation the game is looking pretty crisp just take a look at these textures boys we are getting around 45 fps 
very decent there are few stutters here and there which is surprising considering that we are emulating this game on a very flagship android device i don't know why my camera is out of focus but let's go outside and we are getting about 100 percent speed over 100 percent speed so let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this latest update of citra emulator android subscribe turn on all notification if you want to watch similar videos on my channel and this game is looking really good at 4x resolution so thanks for watching see you guys tomorrow goodbye